It's our new poster. It says, Welcome to the Party. Welcome back. When we last left our hero, he was on the wrong bus, right? Right, remember? Remember the wrong bus? I remember the wrong bus. I'm on the wrong bus. Doing my little bussy thing. And I, I turn to the guy next to me and I tell him, I'm on the wrong bus. Talk to the guy next to me. That's not really that weird of a conversation. We just, we just talk. Anyways, 20 minutes later, I get to the bus stop that I needed to get to in the first place. And the seat beside me is empty. I have my backpack in it. You know, just me in the backpack, just hanging out, having a good backpack time. It's like a little date. All these people start getting on. And I'm looking at all these people. I'm not looking at anyone in particular. I'm looking at all these people. And I look back. This bus is about to fill as I'm looking at these people, I think, well, anyways, all these people start getting on. As I'm looking at these people, I'm like, well, maybe I should move my backpack. Just so that someone will have a place to sit. So I'm looking at these people, I move my backpack, and a girl sits down right beside me. I have headphones in, by the way. You saving this seat for anybody special? No. You can, you can sit there. That's how our conversation started. But <laughs> we get to the end. And as we're pulling up to the bus stop, I, I, make, I make one crucial mistake. I lean over and I go, Buses are just magnets for awkward situations. All right, it's a conversation. The bus stops. Everyone starts getting off. She gets off. I'm like, well, you know, that was, that was kind of awkward. So I get up, put on my backpack, and I step off the bus. And she's waiting right off the bus, waiting. I just met this girl. She's, I said, like, three things to her. I'm walking, and she's walking with me, and I still have headphones in. Keep this in mind. I still have headphones in, and she, she looks at me and says, is the reason why you're wearing headphones because you don't want to talk to anybody? Genius. Yeah, it's usually the point. And this girl, this girl is, she's brilliant, genius, like I said, and, and she replies, well, I'm going to walk with you anyways, because you don't want me to. I'm going to walk with you anyways. And we're walking down down this long, long hallway. And then all these people start coming out of different areas of the like classrooms and stuff. And she starts getting lost and you know doesn't know where she's going. Oh no. <laughs> and I leave her. I run away. Not ashamed to admit it. Didn't want to talk to her in the first place. I left her there, in the hallway, confused, scared, and alone. Yeah, left her, right there, in the hall. See what I care. I mean, who says, who says they're going to walk with you anyways? A psycho, that's who. For all I know, she could have taken me out back. Maybe play Monopoly or, I don't know, watch painting or something. That's the point I'm making here. Just crazy. Women. <laughs> I didn't really mean that.
Not really. Not no no. But she's still crazy. The audacity of this girl to just go and follow some dude she doesn't even know. For all she knows, I could have been some weird, awkward guy that makes weird YouTube videos that three people watch. And then, yeah, I mean, she could have been talking to that guy. But we all know <laughs> that's not me. Okay. Okay, it is me. I suck at YouTube videos. I'm not funny. Nobody watches them. I mean, my best video has got seven views, and it's a video of my roommate and his fiance doing nothing. Oh, my hair's messed up. Hello! Welcome to Storytime. This is, uh... Uh... <laughs> you know, I once told a group of people that my superpower was being awkward. It was at a sleepover, I think.